Packages do not have to make it to your front door to be vulnerable, though, as thieves are looking no further than parking lots for a quick grab. And Unified Police tell the KSL investigators there's a new number one hotspot for car prowlers. Tonight, Daniela Rivera shows us where it is and how you can avoid becoming a victim. Decorated trees, lights, carols, and presents. It's the most wonderful time of the year. But it's also when crimes of opportunity skyrocket. Because it's such a densely packed parking lot, criminals would see that as I could blend in in broad daylight and no one would ever know. Unified Police Detective Doug Lambert is taking us to one of this year's hottest spots for car prowlers, according to the department's crime mapping. The shops at Fort Union in Midvale. Does it matter how close to the front I park? Not necessarily. Detective Lambert shows us just how easy it is to fly under the radar while looking for the right opportunity. It only took us a few minutes to spot something a prowler might want. What about that backpack? That is exactly what they're looking for. There could be nothing in it or it could be something of value. And so now that I'm kind of shaded, Nobody is really paying attention. I could break that window, unlock it, get in, grab the bag, and then go to the next vehicle. And some shoppers made it even easier. It's a good thing for whoever owns this car that I'm a journalist, he's a detective. We're not here to steal, but if we were... That easy. If you see somebody walking through a parking lot and just open a door, car to a door, you don't even think twice about it. Unified Police Sergeant Melody Cutler says these crimes are predictable. This happens every year, but the locations of choice can shift and move around. Last year, the 3900 South and State Street area in Mill Creek saw the worst of it. While this year, a Midvale area, 7200 South in State, is actually seeing the most car burglaries, the Mill Creek location is still up there in the top three hotspots for the department, along with the other Midvale location we visited with Detective Lambert. And those are just the places it's happening most often. Car prowlers can strike pretty much anywhere cars are parked. Just because you're not in a hot spot doesn't mean it's not going to happen. The good news, the data shows overall car burglaries are down this year. And while December 2020 saw the kind of spike police typically expect during the holidays, the numbers were trending down last year too. So how can you avoid being a victim? Lambert says, double check that you've locked your car doors. Don't leave anything of value in your car. And if you have to, make sure it's out of sight. They're looking for an easy target. So is it as simple as making sure that your car is less attractive than the one next to it? That's exactly it. Now, Unified Police say while they don't want to see any stolen, any belongings that is stolen from cars, they are especially concerned about firearms being stolen from vehicles. They're pleading with members of the public to stop leaving guns in cars that are all too often getting into the wrong hands. Mike and Ashley. Yeah.